Yo guys, welcome back to Humble Performance. Today we've got a great video for you guys. Hopefully we're gonna be taking my personal white EG hatchback down the track. We're going to Alex in the driver's seat. We're getting ready for a race coming up next week with this thing. So we wanna make sure everything's dialed in or hopefully break it right now and set about in Oklahoma City. So we got this thing on the track. I'm gonna give you guys some details on this. Be sure to stay tuned. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, you guys, so on this car, what we have is a HP 1000 long block build. This is a package that we offer for engine builds. So it's our HP 1000 long block, our humble performance budget turbo kit, um, as well as just a basic RBC intake manifold. As you guys can see, it has a K2 and 72 millimeter drive-by-wire throttle body. The car is powered by a Haltech Elite 2500. Um, it has a CSS K20 block, so big shout out to Jeff over at CSS. They always help us out. Jeff and Breed over there are great. So this has a CSS block with an O-ring as well. It is a standard CSS, not the high horsepower CSS. So this is actually the, I said it's an HP 1000. It's like a mix between the 1000 and the 700, but it's a standard CSS, uh, standard ARP head studs, just a standard head package, springs rods, uh, rod piston, spring retainer motor. As well as that, guys, budget turbo kit set up. We have Kyle's Booster Boys turbo here as well. 22,000 cc injectors from Deetworks, two 350 IL pumps, and on top of that, I forgot to mention as well, this is an all-wheel drive EG, making over 700 horsepower. So what we're gonna do, guys, is get some testing, because we're testing for an event coming up here uh, next week, so we just make sure everything works for this road course event, or this road event, it's just a, it's a drag and drive event on street tires, so we're just gonna make sure everything works. The goal here today is to make a good pass, make sure it goes A to B, and go from there. We're gonna run the car full pilt and see what you can do, max out the turbo, so let's go ahead and get to it. Oh boy, follow you ready or what? Not ready. Oh boy, Follow's been wanting this for weeks. Four weeks. Are you ready? Oh boy, here we go. No, it's rear wheel drive. It might be weird. Just as a heads up as well, guys, so there's no confusion as well. The clocks at the track right now are turned off, so we do have to use the app on the phone. So I'll try to pull up real time. I don't think I'll be able to. I'll just show you the guys the time afterwards. We won't be able to show the time in real time because it will not be lighting up the board, so they're trying to get us down on the app and stuff. So I'll be putting the time slip on the screen as it goes, um, and then you guys will be able to see it. So we'll just do it that way. All right, we're going to bring up Alex here for the first pass. Let's see what he can do right here, boys. sleeper build. No one's paying attention. We're going to see what happens. for a second pass. Found out that the boost control had a little issue, so we've gone ahead and fixed that now. So we're gonna see what she can do this next pass. Last pass, guys, this car's tuned for 35 pounds. It only made 22 pounds of boost. and went at 10-3 at 147, so we're gonna see what she can do right here.
pole. The car had issues going in the second. The rest of the clutch stop, I think we have it a little bit too far out. So we, I actually took the whole rod out and completely just so we can get the clutch all the way in. Hopefully everything works. Um, Power-wise, we now have the boost solenoid maxed all the way out. So the turbo is going to make however much power the turbo makes. We've also changed the leave a little bit. It's still spinning a little bit, so we took it down a little bit to see what she can do. Hopefully this next pull should be good, but uh, we will see. All right, here we up, Alex. The boost controller is literally at 100% closed wastegate. We're gonna see what it can make. Boost cut is set to 50 pounds of boost. Car is tuned for 35. We're gonna see what happens right here, guys. It's going against a beadlock and slicked Camaro of some sort against a stockish K20 on only street tire. We're gonna see what we can do right here, boys. If we can get the short track down and make power on the top end, this thing is going to fly. Let's see what she can do. time is Hold on. little little quick 10 1 10 1 149 god dang how was that pass <laughs> good it's sketchy I, I don't know if you can record the roof that's oh, yeah. how i'm sure oh, yeah. that's look how at the track is look at this roof like the whole track right now it's just a ton and ton of humidity I, it was bad this close up letting off it was felt kind of sketchy but i know it's i know it's a track but it's right. felt really good man like oh 10, 10 1 149 on the street tire ac full exhaust you're right drive it every freaking day i haven't even mentioned the wall i'll probably go back and edit it but i haven't even mentioned the car is ac full exhaust this is a daily driver and i tell people i drive this every day and you see it this car is driven to work every day you come to the shop here this as long as it's sunny the car will probably be there it's driven every day and uh it'll, it'll go i would say nine seven nine eight yep. on a, you know I think what was the last one? 160 feet? The 160 foot. I mean, yeah. we've already done one fives. So it's just not there. The track's not there. Like the, the short track's not there at all. But Yeah, it'll do uh, on, with, the, with the short track we did before, or the 60 foot would be like a 9.7. Or That's even right. today, even with just like the one six, it would have been like a 9.9. Nine. But yep. it's it's progress for sure. Yep. They almost 150 miles per hour on the street tire. I mean, that's uh, getting there. Yep. Get there. It's a weapon. It Hopefully. Really good, we got some more stuff to put on this thing, so we'll see. And then we're going to. Event in Oklahoma City, King of the Open Road, with TRC, Jared Holt, all them. So I think we're taking this thing, and that was kind of the purpose. And then maybe follow you taking your car or what? Paul's taking his car. I might take a couple cars. So if you're in the Oklahoma City area and want to check that race out, maybe get Ronnie and a couple cars that go that'd be cool. That'd be cool. Whole, whole cruise. Cars, yeah. That'd be a really cool event. So if you're going, if you're watching this video, when this video releases, it is this Sunday, uh, Oklahoma City, or sorry, Saturday, Sunday, Thunder Valley. We're going to be running this car. And then I think only this car, the run, and then the S car to be cruising. So you guys can see these cars in person if you really want to see them. But I don't know if you have recorded, but right. you should record that this is a true freaking street tire, yeah. none of these cheater right. slick tire, right. whatever. It is. Yeah, this a is a this is a Toyo uh, R1R, full street tire. You guys can see. Uh, Hold on, what's that? Oh yeah, this is this isn't like a like a Mickey Thompson drags like like this is a Toyo R1R. So it is a high performance full street tire, but. It is a street tire. And if you guys have been following the channel for a long time, the reason I got this tire is because the El Abuelo all-wheel drive car had this tire. That's the only reason. So it's just the same tire. Really good wet weather condition. I could drive this thing anywhere. Obviously, when I'm driving the snow, because it is a it is an R compound tire, but this is a full-on street tire, not a slick, not a crazy size either. Like this is just a 23-inch 205, 50-15 on RPF1s on stock 32 millimeter RSX axles or base EP3 axles. And then, like I said, it's our HP. It's it's our HP 1000 slash 700 engine build. It's, it's in between the two. And then our budget turbo kit as well. And it is the all-wheel drive version. So I know we've got a lot of people asking specifically about the all-wheel drive budget turbo kit. This is what we're testing to do this. And as well, we wanted to show the car actually has a full exhaust as well on top of that. So it is a, this isn't a, a, a there's no cutouts, nothing. It is a full exhaust front to back. 
all-wheel drive. He's in the Hub City kit as well. So, full street car, no, no excuses whatsoever. But yeah. Only, only if a video can record the the hold of the oh, yeah. of the AC. Yes. Oh yeah. But yeah, AC and everything as well, guys. So it's it's a full ass street car or full street car. Sorry, but. Sleeper for sure. Yep, sleeper for sure. I mean, someone's gonna say I see the intercooler. Like that's the only thing that gives it away is the intercooler. But we can paint it black. Too. We can. That's. I'll put an actual full bumper on front of it, and that's that's the plan. So that'll that'll hide it all. But I think uh, what's progress, that? Progress yep. for sure. It's, it's fun. There's a couple runs. I mean, it's, it. I wasn't expecting it to be this cool, and as you can right. see, the right. condensation. Uh, a ton of made, humidity. Yeah, I felt it on the track. I almost right. let off, but I just. Like it felt good. I, I know it went a little bit quicker because it took me more to break at the right. bottom. And also, it was just like in third and fourth, it was just like right. drifting almost. Oh, and, geez. Yeah. And that's why I stayed on it. I was like, yep. man, it felt a little bit quicker. Let me just try to no stay more. on it. Let me just risk my life. <laughs> oh, just yeah. to see. Let me risk my life with this car with no cage, nothing. So, first off, I also want to let, well, before we end this, do as I say, not as I do. Put safety in your car. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this car was supposed to have a roll cage in it before this event. Just didn't have the time to get it done. There will be a roll cage in it probably by the next time it goes down the track. I just want to honestly look for that nine second of street tire, then we'll start upgrading stuff from there. Yep. Even uh, the hair on the 64 right. there. You know? Yep. I mean, it's a slick alone will immediately make it a nine second car, and then it's it's almost there. Oh boy. But cool. All right, guys. So if you guys like that. Be sure to subscribe. We'll have a full feature on this car. This is kind of a test. We haven't made any videos. I don't like to make videos of my own car, but uh, we'll go ahead and get this thing squared away, fix everything, and then we'll go from there. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. If you like it, be sure to subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one.